Um, first of all, now you're an eminent uh, uh, lawyer. Uh, what do you all call um, uh, advocate? Uh, uh, advocate. Yes, yeah. yes, yes. What, what, now, what's your name? And just give a tiny bit my of your. My first name is Vim, and my surname is Tengov. Mm. And that's from what kind of lineage? Well, I'm uh, Tengov is an English name, but I'm an. My first language is Afrikaans. Oh, okay. The, 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 the essence of the question I have is, can you give me a definition of justice? I know I can't. I, I, I don't think there is a comprehensive definition of justice, mm, mm. but I think that it is uh, uh, the, the closest synonym would be fairness. Mm. But I realize that the two can't be equated. Mm. I, now, I've asked this question to a lot of people in the justice system, and there is a, a very elderly man, not in the justice system, in fact, he was only a security guard mm. uh, 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 in Washington, D.C. He's, he's in his 80s now, and he, he's written a book, but he's given the definition of justice. Mm. And he says, uh, justice is the guarantee that no one is mistreated. I guess you put a colon there, or a semicolon there, and then it says, and those who need help get the most constructive help uh, possible. Mm. Can you comment on that sort of definition? No, it seems to me a fair definition, no. Mm. Uh, and, 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 the, the, one of the big questions in most countries, including South Africa, is the extent to which the state ought to help people. Everybody agrees that there ought to be some help, but there's a debate. You know, the the uh, Obamacare debate in the U.S. is a debate about the extent of the state's duties to positively assist people who can't help themselves. We have exactly the same debates and more in South Africa. So I agree with the definition, but it doesn't answer all the questions. It opens up many. But that, 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 that comes from a gentleman by the name of uh, Mr. Neely Fuller Jr. Mm. That's N-E-E-L-Y, Fuller Jr. Mm. Uh, and, but he says, for instance, that second part, um, those who need, uh, um, those who need to get the most constructive help. Yeah. And his, the, comp, the word he uses is constructive. Mm. And he almost, he talks about it like, like, like a, in medical terms, like a triage. If you come mm. to an accident, you mm. person needs some help. But also, if somebody comes to you and says, um, oh, I need some help. He said, well, what do you need? Well, I, I need some oxycotton, or I need some heroin, like mm. that. Mm. Now, that's not a person. That, mm. that might be true. He needs to help, but mm. he's not the most a person, the most important person in that triage. Yeah. And that's not the. And you don't want to deal with that first, you know. So I think that compensatory, or not compensatory, that that um, uh, that that most const that constructive word, mm. you know. So the question is, for instance, in Obamacare, mm. is that help that they got? Is that the most, you know, constructive help, given that big pharma is more of the winner than the, the than the, you know, than the accident victim. No, I, you know, mm -hmm. I'm not suggesting that there's an easy answer to it. Mm -hmm. In South Africa, lots of people don't have houses, don't have electricity, don't have sewerage, don't have schooling, don't have medical services, mm -hmm. and uh, question of priorities is an important one. Okay, I, I want to end it here, but then, then it, it, it has just this weird thing. I, I, I've been interviewing a, uh, this old man in Timbaza mm. in his 80s. Mm. Um, uh, he's a closer man. Mm. And they talk, uh, this thing is online. He, he, he says that, you know, the, the people, and he's talking about Middle Drift uh, mm. uh, Prison, mm. said they get better treatment than maybe their, their, their victims. You know, somebody mm. might be in an RDB house laying on a concrete floor, mm. and these guys are up mm. here, you know, in a nice bed, sheets mm. changed all the time, and they, they even had a protest one time, they want, they're they tight eating chicken, mm. they want pigs, mm. or whatever. You see that, back to that uh, constructive help. Mm. Uh, you know what I mean? Well, can you comment on it? Or <laughs> there's a brother No, Archie's but I do think that, uh, I do think that if the state takes control of people, incarcerate them, then it bears a certain responsibility to maintain them at a, a basic human level. And I don't think that they can then treat them in the way uh, that the most unfortunate victims in our society live. So I, I think it's a false comp comparison. It's sad that that should be so, but I don't think it is an excuse for the state not to treat prisoners in a 
decent and humane way. Hmm. I don't know if he's, um, uh, I can't speak for him, but I don't know if he's talking, I think he's basically saying, okay, if, if the state is, is, is responsible for both, you know, the yeah. citizen and, 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 yeah. and the inmate, then, okay, that's fine. Well, how come the, in, the, the citizen can't have the, the mattress and, yeah. and, and the pig? I guess that's, I'm, I'm just guessing yeah. that, that, that's where, yeah. that was his point, I'm yeah. not sure. Yeah. Well, uh, because I think that the moment you deprive people of their freedom and you take them into custody and mm. you determine their fate, then you also assume a responsibility mm. of a basic uh, human living conditions. That's mm. what I'm saying. Mm. Okay, thank you so very much. Thanks a lot.